नमस्कार हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज ममता वेलकम बैक टू आदित्य सोमस चैनल नदर वीडियो ऑफ इंडियन स्टूडेंट इन कनाडा सीरीज सो दिस इन दिस वीडियो वी गोना टॉक अबाउट स्पाउस वीजा वेरी क्रूशियल थिंग सो हियर्स द थिंग um if you have been watching the other videos in the series you would know you know i got my full time job in 2014 around june so after starting to work it's already been like 2 years of long distance relation and if you been in a long distance relation you know how tough it is yeah. <laughs> it's it was crazy it started to get you know cracks honestly we almost were in a point where it's it's time to either move on or patch back so that's a that's the situation we are in and on top of that it's like you know there is already a wound and there is a, someone already throwing a what do you call chili powder on it <laughs> <laughs> which is our parents so my parents already told no she is not coming into our family ever yeah. and what your parents said <laughs> they didn't say anything they already started to look for matches secretly and all of a sudden they got a person in the house one day like you got to marry him it was like a, a situation now she calls me and say started to cry and i'm like okay i got to do something <laughs> there is a problem drama. Uh, uh, <laughs> too much drama <laughs> so got to do something at that point right so that's where like i've been going through already financial pressure and uh, on top of that this relationship is going in a, in a weird direction so i really asked myself is this the girl do you want to marry and she was already like crying if you don't marry me i'm going to die <laughs> uh, i mean not really right <laughs> <laughs> close to same word <laughs> so I got to do something right I've been like talking to friends and you know um I have very good friends like four of them we were like always have a call and one of my actually friend come cousin he said why don't you apply for visa I'm like yeah but we have to be married then why don't you get married I'm like that sounds <laughs> like a plan literally like on the day I I found out about that I google he's actually in Australia I googled what's the situation in Canada and I found out this spouse work permit freaking awesome solution for me that's a great news because now I don't have to bring her on education that costs a lot of money yeah. and unfortunately her family cannot send it because it's a financial situation and my family if I have to officially go get married my family is not agreeing it because I'm through so much debt and I'm in the process of paying that and it's very early i still have to pay the debt and my sister wedding planning and all those things so if you're not an indian you might not understand the situation but if you're an indian i'm pretty sure you do if you do like <laughs> comment in the below so that was the situation we were going in and and the solution is i have to get married yeah we have to have a marriage certificate in order for me to apply work visa for her so i'm like sounds like a plan what do i do official wedding with the family's help is not an option so i literally called up some of my friends in india very good friends again friends always help me out very very best so i found out a little bit on the register office how it works and all those things they said yeah there is a way you just need to get the you know a official wedding but in front of the priest and then have the photos and apply for register office so that's exactly we did i i like literally didn't tell anyone i'm coming to india book a flight go to india surprise everyone on top of that didn't tell it <laughs> even me he didn't even tell me about the wedding yeah yes yeah? because i already made my mind and i know she's the one i want right like you that's a big thing if you're a young guy watching this video you know oh i want to get married my girlfriend no no hold on you got to think really I, for that 6 months i really thought like is she the one and i i tried to sense from her side as well like she is super strong so i i know the person i i want her for my lifetime that means i got to do something so that's where like you know this pulse visa came in 
the best thing that Canada offers is like this spouse visa because all of a sudden, because I'm already working and I already have two and a half years work permit. So because I went to India and got that paper wedding, Canada, I applied for spouse work permit and they gave her almost the exact amount of time my work permit is. Yeah. Literally, that's a solution. Two births, one shot. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean that? <laughs> because one, our relation was in a crack. So now we can rebound. That's a solution one. And the solution two is our families were not agreeing, like especially my family, because of the financial situation. So it, it sounds a little bit uh, shady, but like unfortunately that's a sad truth back home where expectations, right? The dowry expectations. So because I have a sister, they're gonna pay dowry and I, I'm a guy, my family is expecting dowry and we are financially super, you know, backward. So my family was like, not happy when they heard about our relation because there is no financial support coming in so that means my son have to live poor that was their situation so now the solution i'm having her now she's in canada now she's gonna work now she's gonna be like professional almost like me so all of a sudden they their values went up now my mom and dad started talking to her and all those things now they became good friends so that's why like you got to be clear about your thoughts and if you see a solution you got to take actions and that worked out really well yeah and once she's here she started to look for jobs and that's another video but very simple thing we did like i literally went to my manager and said hey my wife is looking for this job um do you have any openings literally the next week we got a call and she got a job yeah <laughs> so things will really turn around if you look for solutions and that's that's what I really learned from our relation. Like you know, um, you gotta always look out of the box. And it was scary to get that secret wedding because no support from family, and also emotionally we are so emotional people. Like especially back home in India, yeah. Because oh, you got married without telling anyone. Uh, you already got married. Like there is no date. We're looking for the specific date that can bound you stronger and all those things emotional pain was solid yeah i don't know about her i was already in that and especially girl it's more yeah even we we had so many challenges when even in canada um because that was the first time we are living together yeah and um but we did well yeah but what we told actually our family uh, here's the story i made up a story in her family, I told that I'm <laughs> taking her on a uh, student visa. Yeah. So we didn't tell anything about student visa. So my family, they know that her family is sending her for education. So that's how like we managed. So now her college is in 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 the city I'm living in. So obviously she have to live with me. Yeah. And eventually they understood. You know, eventually over always the time will give the solution. Yeah. And the spouse visa really gave us the solution yeah. to, to rebound back and make our relations stronger. Yeah. So if you're in our shoe, hope this video is helpful for you. And do you have anything to say for young couple that who are watching, thinking <laughs> about the spouse visa? For girls especially. I would say just be clear about your thoughts. Like when you are making that decision, just make sure this is the person that you are going to live live like forever if you if you're 100 percent sure in every way like what i mean is like if you are living with a person for 24 hours in a day it will be a little bit different like don't expect the same things like how you meet them for two three hours in a day and the that that goes really well but when you when you guys are living together you have to understand so many things like you have to understand each other so initially it will be a little bit difficult but if you can if you if you both can modify your habits and uh, your thoughts yeah, yeah love it, that thank yeah. you for the session that's yeah. a that's a great point yeah. because it, at the end if you really both have a, a yeah. feelings on each other yeah. and you know for sure you're the one together you got to you got to find out, 
you know everyone will have good uh, good habits and bad, bad habits. habits or you know yeah. everyone is good person and also have a bad person in them yep so you as a spouse like have to understand what's the bad side of that person yep. and ignore or or live with it yep. instead of pointing that bad things yeah so no really good point thank you mamta so guys hope this is helpful let me know if you are in the process or you already did this i'm curious to hear your story if you have a success story and if you're in the process of making a success story and if this video inspired you to have a better life yeah. let us know because that motivates us to you know provide more uh, suggestions or yeah. value for you guys so yeah. see you in the later video thanks for watching thanks for watching the indian student in canada series and there is more videos coming up yeah. that tell more about our story and also like something that to help your journey to make your decision a lot easier especially if you're sitting in india planning to come to canada mm -hmm. if you want to like come for higher studies or if you want to come on permanent residency on express entry whatever hope our journey will give you a solid hope that you know even in abroad countries you can still live the way you want yeah. your life so see you in the later video have a wonderful day thank you have a good day